Hey y'all, good morning, Sister Ned. Welcome to this video. Today, guess what I'm doing, y'all? I'm still making something in my crock pot. I um, mean, of course, it's homemade, but I'm making crock pot crack chicken sandwiches. So, this is going to be cooking all day in my crock pot, y'all. I put the, um, the recipe in the comments of this video so that you all can, of course, check that out as well. And it's going to be on Pinterest, just to let you know. But, um, it says one and a half pounds of chicken breast. I have no idea. I don't have a damn skill to wear that. So I'm just going to put a few chicken breasts in this crock pot. It says the crock pot does have to be greased. So I just sprayed it with that um, with that cooking spray. So it is greased now. Then I'll need eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup of shredded cheese. I think it said cheddar or whatever you want to use. One pack of the ranch seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, um, one fourth cup of chicken broth or water, six slices of cooked bacon. Now y'all... I'm not, I don't really cook bacon a lot, um, so I bought some bacon bits. <laughs> these say it is real bacon bits, so that's what's going to go on top of these sandwiches. So, like I said, I did that. Um, six hoagie rolls. I didn't get the hoagie rolls, but I got a long loaf of French bread that's going to be cut up to, uh, to accommodate the, um, the this this cracked chicken I'm making. And then, of course, it said chopped lettuce. I, I, got, I got chopped lettuce. I have tomatoes that's going to go in the sandwiches as well once this chicken part is done. Um, and it says ranch dressing on the top for just for a topping if you want. So, like I said, that's how this recipe, that's what's included in this recipe. Um, it says to um, add the chicken, cream cheese, shredded cheese, pack of ranch, garlic powder, and broth to the grease crock pot. Then cook on high for three to four hours. And since we'll be at work all day, it's going to have to cook way longer than that on low. <laughs> so it's going to be five to seven hours on low until the chicken is easily controlled with the park. So let me go ahead and get the making, y'all. But like I said, that's what I'm making this morning. I just want to make sure that I invited y'all on this video so that y'all can, of course, check out what I'm making. Like I said, I'm always trying to make something homemade. I'm always trying to make something that's going to be good, too. Um, a lot of some, some of the things I was making was, of course, um, vegan or vegetarian. But, I, of course, I still eat meat. I'm not just a veggies all day long, but I do still eat meat as well. So, like I said, I definitely want to make sure that I add, uh, included this recipe. I found this recipe on Pinterest, and I was like, let me make this. <laughs> Don't know how it tastes. I have no idea. But we'll see, y'all. <laughs> let me get all my stuff. I should have my stuff together, y'all, before I even click start. So crazy. That's okay. <laughs> I do that sometimes. It's all right. <laughs> but I should have had it together already. Let me see. Where's my chicken broth? Chicken broth. Chicken broth. I know I got a lot of chicken broth. Cream cheese. Got that. And chicken broth should be over here. So I hope y'all are doing well. Actually, this is veggie broth. I don't know if it makes a difference. What is this? Oh, this is chicken broth. Okay. No, I use chicken broth. Damn it. My bad. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got all the ingredients. I should have been ahead of her, actually. But let me see. I know I need the, um, the fourth of a cup. So when I find it, there it is right here. Thank you, fourth of a cup. And like I said, the only thing it says is to put all this, and I got the chicken over there in the sink. It's been unthawing since earlier, and it's still kind of frozen, so it's going to go on there frozen the way, same way it is. But like I said, I definitely have that. I had to put it in, in the fridge last night for it to unthaw, but it's okay. It's going to work the way it's going to work, y'all. That's how I look at them. And that's a fourth of chicken broth. Uh-oh. Come on, top. Don't go back on there. There we go. Alrighty. Now I do got my little thing to shred the cheese up with. Cause I'm usually getting cheese that I gotta shred, y'all. I don't know why, it's just a habit. So that's what I'm usually getting. I'm gonna make it a homemade. Sometimes I'll get the slices, but usually most of the time I'm getting the um oh let me put the chicken in there. The actual um cheese I have to shred up. And I'm just putting the powdered cheese, this, I mean the powdered cheese, Lord. This ranch dressing packet in here is what I'm putting on now. And I just had the generic little ranch dressing packet. I think I got it from Aldi. I think it was like 30 cents or something at Aldi. I knew these things were going to come in handy, so I'm glad I got them. I'll put it that way. But I'm getting the chicken out now, y'all. I don't know what no one and a half pounds is, but whatever it is, it's going to go inside this crock pot. This, that's how I look at it. So, so I'm just going to put a few of them inside this I'm trying to stir up this ranch season mix with this damn piece of chicken. <laughs> but, uh, but I hope y'all do well and I don't want to 
make sure that I keep providing some awesome recipes for y'all. What in the world? Some awesome recipes for y'all on this page. And like I said, I've been trying to use my crock pot a lot. And you, but you all have been seeing the demos and that kind of thing too. And I have been using my crock pot a lot as well. But I do want to let you all know that, give me one second, let me, let me um, cause I'm, cause I'm wanting to do something. Um, I still want, of course I love bacon, y'all know that. And I'm getting back into my bacon actually. Uh oh. Why does this chicken is like really frozen? And I can't even get it apart, Lord. Have mercy. What in the world? Seriously. Ugh, Lord, have mercy. All right, there we go. Jesus. What in the world? With this doggone chicken. Oh, Lord, child. Okay. Now I gotta wash my hands. I got all this chicken meat. I don't like the feel of meat on my hands. <laughs> well, y'all, let me get this done and I'll, I just wanna let y'all know some of the things I'm looking to do when it comes to the baking, y'all, when it comes to the baking. Um, and this page, actually. So give me a second, I just gotta wash my hands, y'all. Cause I, I can't stand the, the, the meat and all that kind of stuff on my hands. I know that may sound crazy to some of y'all, but I don't like that feeling. Or, anything. I got to get this stuff off my hands. Off my hands, off my hands. All right. All right. Like I said, I hope y'all doing well today. It's Friday. It's National Donut Day. So I hope that y'all are going out getting your free donuts today. I think here in St. Louis, um, uh, oh, what's the place? Krispy Kreme and, um, What's that other place? Dunkin' Donuts. They usually have like free donuts. You buy one, get one free, or you go in, order some coffee, they get your free donuts, that kind of thing. But well, y'all definitely take advantage of that. It's free. Where well, you have to buy something to get it, I guess I put it that way. So the technically ain't free, but that's okay. But like I said, um, with this particular page, you all may notice a name change coming up soon because it's not going to stay treats, cre um, treats and crafts. I want to make it something towards homemade. I'll figure out a name, but just something that goes along with homemade because I'm making a whole lot of things. What I want to what, what what I want to do with this page is continue to, of course, make homemade foods, um, homemade stuff in my crock pot most of the time. Um, but like I said, definitely um, as far as the um, the cakes and stuff like that, I want to. I'm getting back into making my cakes too, um, but I'm looking to make more of the healthier type cakes. Um, the healthy loaf cakes, I guess I put it that way, like the blueberry loaf cakes or the coffee crunch cakes, that kind of thing. I just made a banana um, nut cake, a banana nut bread the other day, and I posted that video um, or the, those pictures down below as well that you all can check out. But like I said, those are some of the things that I'm wanting to, of course, incorporate in this particular page. I know before I was all into, of course, I still love making cupcakes. I'm making cupcakes for the fellas for, for, um, for Father's Day next month. Um, but, of course, I still want to, of course, make my other cakes, too, and I'm, I'm trying to make healthier things because I know, of course, a lot of people are beginning to be health conscious, which is definitely a good thing. But I want to make sure that I'm, of course, still making, making some sweets and stuff that, that will accommodate those people who are looking to, of course, have something sweet but, of course, healthy at the same time. And the same thing with the food. Like I said, I love the cooking these foods and making all these demos and stuff like that in the crock pot. But I definitely want to make sure that, of course, um, whether it has meat or not in the meals, um, some of them won't, some of them will. But like I said... The main thing is that they're homemade meals. That's what I'm looking at creating for y'all. A lot more of, I guess I put it that way, so you all can see that. Yes, I know, of course, I'm your relationship coach. Just speak your truth. Yes, I do have a coaching business where I'm talking about relationships and love and sex and all that kind of stuff. And that's here on Facebook as well. Um, so you all can check that out. Like I can put the link in, in one of the videos or in the comments um, at some point. But I just want to make sure y'all knew that I'm doing that as well. So, of course, I have a few things. That I'm, of course, interested in. And, of course, food, of course, has always been food and making um, desserts and stuff like that. I love making my desserts, y'all, as y'all know. Um, but, like I said, I definitely want to get into some more healthier things, too, as far as dessert making. Not just the regular cupcakes and fondant cakes. I can make those things, but I'm not preferring to make those things at this time. I will make the cupcakes on, on Father's Day. And, of course, if anybody asks for me, yes, I will make them. But, like I said, I really want to focus on making some healthier, since I'm making more homemade meals and stuff like that in the crock pot, 
I really want to get more into making some homemade loaf cakes. Like I said, I have like um, ricotta, uh, lemon ricotta loaf cakes. I have all kinds of recipes, y'all, thanks to Pinterest. I found all these beautiful recipes that I cannot wait to use and show y'all. And of course, yes, I will be selling those cakes. Just to let you know, I have some mini loaf pans. And I'm selling those cakes for, um, for $6 each. And of course, that will take place. Um, it's not going to be this Sunday, but I will be starting the, the following Sunday. I don't have the date on that, y'all. Um, shoot, what is this Sunday? I think this Sunday is the 6th or the, I don't know. I, I, I will make sure that y'all have a date and make sure that y'all know of the menu that I'll be making as well. And no, just to let you know, if you're, if you're not in the St. Louis City area or the surrounding area, St. Charles, East St. Louis, Belleville, that kind of thing, if you're more than 50 miles out from St. Louis, I will not be uh, um, driving or delivering um, the items, so they know. Um, so I'll let you all know how that process is going to work. But of course, it's all going to be for you all to pick up. I guess I put it that way as well. I tried the the, um, the delivery thing back in the day, but the other businesses I had, it was just a mess, y'all. I might, I refuse to do that again. So I figure since I'm in one location, um, you all can of course come pick it up from me. Is how I look at it, y'all. Because trying to deliver to 50 and 20 people and all over the place and then somebody's not home and throwing you off schedule, that just began, began to be a mess. So like I said, Sundays is going to be the day. And it won't be this Sunday, will not be this Sunday. But I, like I said, I'll put the date once I get off this video. I'll find that date and put it in the description of this video as well. So that you all can know uh, when I'm, um, like I said, when the cakes are going to be on sale. That kind of thing. But like I said, they'll be focused on um, all healthy loaf cakes. Not your, all your icings. I mean, if you want icing, you request an icing. I can put that on the side for you. I'll put it on top, that kind of thing. But like I said, definitely, I'm trying to focus on more of the healthier um, loaf cakes. How much cheese was I supposed to put? One cup of cheese. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to figure that out. One cup of cheese. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, that should be all right. One cup of shredded cheese. Okay, if any more, I'll put on the sandwiches later on. But like I said, definitely, I want to make sure that you all knew that. And like I said, St. Louis, that's for y'all. Like I said, I know that. And y'all know I make some awesome, well y'all haven't had my casseroles, but I do make some awesome casseroles as well. I love making casseroles. I love making stuff in my crock pot. So like I said, that's definitely what I want to bring y'all. Some homemade meals, made fresh, of course, with fresh ingredients. And of course, something that you're going to have at lunchtime. So you want to have to have all these crazy things at lunch and fried chicken and all this stuff going on. I'm not saying that you cannot have that. But at some point, I know, like I said, we're all, I, I'm looking more to get to, to be healthier my, with, with myself as well. So I know that, of course, I have to cut back on some things, which I have already, been, of course, cut back. But but like I said, my eating had got kind of crazy since COVID. So I'm like, this has got to change, y'all. This is something going to have to give, I put it that way. So like I said, that's what I, um, let me take this in the front room. So like I said, that's what I was wanting to bring y'all as well. I know I'm not the only one who's gained all these COVID pounds, <laughs> 10 and 15, 20 pounds, that kind of thing in the last year. So like I said, definitely, I know that I had to make a change and I started that change back when I was doing all this stuff in the crock pot for y'all, just so y'all can know what's going on and know how to make the healthy foods and know how to feed your family. But like I said, I will also be offering those once I get to that point, excuse me, of making, of course, um, the actual casseroles, that kind of thing. I really want you all to, of course, sample those first, a sample, excuse me, at least sample one of those first. And then I, of course, be selling them after that just to let you know. But first, we're going to be starting with these healthy loaf cakes. And like I said, they're going to be mini loaf pans. Um, I don't know how many inches, maybe like five inches long, I think, something like, something like that. Um, but like I said, they're going to be $6 each. And like I said, they'll be on Sundays. It'll be Sundays all day for pickup um, or whatever time you designate that kind of thing as well. But like I said, you'll definitely have to pick those up, but I will definitely bake them for you all. And of course, make sure that you all know what's going on, what's in them. And of course, that's according to the cottage food laws as well. If you all hadn't seen that video, I did share it here on this page, just in case you're one who bakes and you want to, of course, make sure that you're baking according to the cottage food laws. Make sure that you're, of course, checking that out as well. Because of course, the loaf cakes and the cakes that you don't have to refrigerate, any baked item that you don't have to refrigerate, um, is, is, is of course able to be put um, up for sale out of your home and they they're passing or already passed the law um, here in Missouri for um, you can advertise online and that kind of thing as well so that's awesome and I put that in that video it should be like a few videos down 
So if y'all want to check that out, please do so. But like I said, I'm definitely getting these loaf cakes going, y'all. If y'all have any requests for a loaf cake or if it's a strawberry pound cake or something along those lines or a blueberry cake, which I'm going to make some of those too because I love blueberry cakes. I love blueberries. And it's all going to be made with, like I said, fresh ingredients, fresh, fresh blueberries, fresh cut strawberries, fresh lemon, lemon squeezed juice, all that kind of stuff because that's how I've always baked. I'm not going to put any artificial besides the vanilla because I don't have any vanilla beans, but other than that, everything else is fresh ingredients y'all so with that I like I said I definitely want to make sure that y'all knew what was going on um, and also let y'all see how I made this cracked chicken crock pot cracked chicken but like I said that's going to be cooking all day while I'm going out I, I don't get out work until 4 30 so by the time I come home it should be of course made so I can go ahead and shred it on up and keep the little crock pot on warm until I get back from getting my honey from work so and then we can chow down y'all and like I said I'll take a picture later on to let y'all know how those sandwiches look but also, like I said, be on the lookout for Tanetta's loaf cakes, I guess healthy loaf cakes. And like I said, you will definitely be seeing those posted, the menu, um, each week so that you all can know what's on sale, that kind of thing, what's coming up, and what I'm making so that you all can decide whether you want any or not. So, and like I said, I'll, I'll definitely be letting y'all know that it will not be this Sunday, but the Sunday following that, I don't know, this is the first Sunday in June. So I guess the second Sunday in June is the day I officially be getting started with um with the loaf cakes just to let you know so for the st louis area and the surrounding areas no more than 50 miles out so like i said like i said y'all i'll be letting y'all know when the, what, what's going to be going on with that and when they're dropping and what the menu is going to be for that day so again with that take care y'all i hope y'all have enjoyed this video and of course making sure that you of course share this video out with people with, with with your timeline with your family friends and your tribes and also tag some folks in this video that may want to see this recipe as well and also get this recipe i guess i put it that way so with that i want to say thank you all for tuning in everybody have a great day take care y'all